Hallelujah! I greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today is last day, so we are here together, together to glorify His holy name. Before we go to the word of God, let us look unto God. Father God, I thank you and worship thee for this wonderful morning, Master. Father, this day is yours, dear Master. So make us in spirit, Master. Speak to me and speak through me, Master. Lord, use me for your glory only, Master. What are things you want to speak to your people? Lord the Father, you please speak, Master. I don't want to share anything as my own Master. Lord the Father, please take control of my self, Master. Tighten my tongue. I give all the glory and honor to you only. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Title is This Dry Bone Slave. These dry bones live. Ezekiel 37 chapter, verse 1 to 10, we can see that. Lord was asking to Ezekiel, Ezekiel, these dry bones live. Yes. Verse 1 says, Lord's hand was with him. When Lord's hand was upon him and with him, he became a man, great man. Yes, Ezra 7.6 says, Lord's hand was with Ezra. So, what are the things Ezra asked, no? King has given. When the hand of the Lord is with us, everything will be for us, yeah. Yes, we have to have that kind of fellowship with God. The close and intimate relationship with God. Are we having that are you ready to tell that, Lord, I am with you, Master. Your hand should be with me, Master. Then we commit our life totally. Lord, you be, you be a master of my Master. I am your slave, Master. You do everything as you like in my life, Master. When we have to give like that, God will use us for His glory. Bible says, Isaiah 8, 11 says, Lord's hand was with Isaiah to instruct Yes, <coughs> Lord's hand was Isaiah to instruct. When God's hand is with us, no, God will instruct what to do, what not to do, what to speak, what not to speak, uh, where to go, where should not go. In each and everything, God will instruct us. <coughs> but we are not getting known, that's why we are getting failure. <coughs> but God's hand should be with us. What Bible says, First Peter 5, 6, Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time. We have to humble ourselves in the hands of the Lord. He will exalt. Then only God's hand will be with us. First Chronicle 4 10 says, Jesus was asking, Lord, your hand should be with me. Your hand should be with me. <coughs> yes. God's hand should be with us. And then, in the same verse, Bible says, God made him in spirit. Yes, we have to be in spirit always. What Revelation 1 10 says, when the day of the Lord came, John the Baptist, John, sorry, John the disciple was in spirit. Yes, the disciple of John was in spirit when the day of the Lord came. What Bible says, Romans 8, 14, the people, those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. What Acts 1, 18, 1, 8 says, when we receive the power, we will become a mighty witness unto the world. Yes, we have to have the Spirit of God in us. We have to be in spirit, we have to pray in spirit, we have to sing in spirit. We have to move everything by Spirit of God. Are we having that kind of experience in us? Did Ezekiel was in spirit? The people, those who want to achieve great things, the people, those who want to challenge the world, the people, those who want to prove the world, Jesus is the only Lord, they have to be in spirit always. Are we? Ezekiel 37 1 says, Lord, Carried him out. Ezekiel not as long. 
Lord, you please take me where, Lord. You please take me, you please take me. No. God took him out. God took him out. Not his will. Not his wish. He simply gave himself to God. God has taken him out. Listeners, are you thinking to go away from the church to start your own kingdom? Be careful. God has to take you. If God takes you, there will be a great mission. If God takes you, you will do great thing for His glory. For him. For his glory. Yes. Here, yeah, God has taken him. Not only that, yeah. He has taken him and made him to stand in the dry bones valley. Hallelujah. Lord is the great God. What he did? God took Ezekiel and put him in valley. That is also dry bones valley. Lord of bones are there. Valley full of valley. Bones. Then God made him to walk. Hallelujah. People of God. Don't worry. If God takes you in a different place, in a difficult place, in a place it is not at all thought in your life don't worry what bible says isaiah 55 8 my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways <coughs> yes our thoughts are not his thoughts god has a special car <coughs> god has a special purpose god has a special vision on you that's why Ezekiel has taken to the Tribune's Valley. Are you telling that, Lord, I am like Ezekiel nowadays, Master? I am in Tribune's Valley, Master. Lord, I am not at all seeing any fruits in my life, Master. My ministry is nothing, Master. Lord, still I am in Tribune's Valley, only Master. <coughs> I am also crying, taking fasting, praying. I am doing everything, Master, for souls. I am not getting any soul. Hallelujah. <coughs> Bible says, He was walking. Do you know one thing? Second Kings, chapter 13, 21 says, The prophet died, Elijah. They buried him in one place. Some of the years after, one man died. They carried the dead body. They put it in the same place. When the dead body touched Elijah's bone, he became life. Got alive again. Prophets Dry bone had power. Preachers, the man of God, the one who was prophet for God, he died. After that, his bone gave life to another dead body. If God can use the prophet's dry bone, how much we are? We have to live like that. Are we ready? We are in lost days. God wants to use us. If God can challenge the nation, you have to be like that. God can use us also. God used the dry bone of prophet to give life to the another dead body. People, world is in dry place. It's almost dead. Well, but we are here to give life to the world. Are you ready to give? If you want to give life, be like the prophet. 
His dry bone can give power. People of God, how much more we are? Are you ready to give? Joseph had thought about his bones. He said, don't worry here. You please carry my bones also. Children of God, if you are living in odd situation, our time in ministry, there is a place to comfort us also. There is a person for comfort us also. Yes. Are you walking on the valley? Don't worry. Then Bible says, Ezekiel 37, 3, Son of man, can these bones live? The Lord of Omnipotent ask a man, these bones, dry bones live? This man answered, O oh Lord, God, thou knowest. You know, Master, these dry bones can live or not, you know. How can I know? I am nothing. We have to humble ourselves. We should not be a people of proud. <coughs> hey, God is asking me. No. He said, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. You are omniscient. You are omnipresent. You are omnipotent. I am nothing before you, Lord. I am least one master. You created from the mud master. I am mud, but you are man of God. I am mud. You are the God. You know that. Yes. What Bible says? Proverbs 15, 30. Good news maketh the bones fat. Good news maketh the bones fat. Leaders, preachers, pastors, good news maketh the bone fat. We are called for to tell good news. Don't curse. Don't condemn. Don't criticize. Don't accuse. Don't pinpoint. Don't file others' name. Unnecessarily. Yes, we are here to give fat to the world. If the world has to get fat, the bone has to get fat, we have to speak good news. Where will be good news? Yes, Lord Jesus, nothing is good news. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Are we telling that? Are we lifting our Lord? Are we glorifying our God? Are we magnifying our God? Hallelujah. We have to do that. What Bible says? Proverbs 16, 24. Pleasant words are yell through the bones. Pleasant words are yell through the bones. Hallelujah. Preachers, are we speaking pleasant words or we be a people of man pleasing? We should not please people if we say pleasant words from promise keeper, prince of peace, then it will be a. So we are here to speak pleasant words. Proverbs 17, 22 says, Broken spirit, dry the bones. We should not break other spirit. We are here to build, not to break. How we are? How we are? Are we breaking others? Are we breaking others' families? Are we breaking others' future? Some of the so-called leaders, they will do others. One day they will die soon. That is there. But we should be like a God. Yes. How we live now, we have to be. He is our role model. He is our role model. We should follow him only. Proverbs 25, 15 says, Soft tongue breaketh the bone. 
soft tongue break the bones this soft tongues are we using soft words sweet words appreciating words encouraging words motivating words building words comforting words these words do wonders are we are we do that people of god our words should build others if our words should build others we have to get a word from god what bible says he was with god yes the word become flesh and dwelt among us not jesus his word should be nest and with us sir you have to build it upon lord's word only you have to speak lord's word if you want to gossip gossip the gospel gospel god's word should be ours we have to be in god's word only you have to live we have to do everything according to god's word then only we can build others life Ezekiel 37 4 to 6 says prophecy God asking man to tell prophecy what lord tells to person family individual church nation nations world we have to do god will speak to us prophet will receive god's word from god to the particular person without adding anything without removing anything what god told to him to tell to the particular person that is called prophecy god has to give god has to give we have to get a word from god that is called prophecy how we people of god nowadays everyone started to tell prophecy like which tell us they will tell so many things when we open the youtube no we have we should cry the pastors so leaders what they did what they are said you know they are making us a fun prophets children of god if you are not getting word from god for accurate person or nation or place don't speak anything to become famous to earn money don't use this bypass methods god will punish us prophecy has to come from god for the particular person it should be foretelling and foretelling yes it has to tell about past present and future also i am telling if you are not please shut your mouth shut your mouth don't speak more yes children of god we have to be a people how god tells to us we have to tell verse 6 proves again prophecy should given by the lord yes that will say <coughs> clearly that will be clearly you read ezekiel 37:6 god says what he has to tell to the dry bone god telling you speak to the dry bone according to this word yes how are we then we got a word father is that is prophecy are we do that god is not speaking to anyone about anything please shout out
शेड्यूल में होता यस दिस शेड प्रॉपर्सी बिकम मनी मेकिंग वे नो वी आर फॉर एवरी थिंग दे आर कमिंग टू पीपल सम पीपल सम प्रॉफिट्स आर देर फॉर मैरिज दे विल टेल फॉर डाइवर्स ऑल्सो दे विल टेल जॉब दे विल टेल टू गो फॉर एनी वेदर दे विल टेल आई नो वॉन्टिंग इन थाउजेंड लाइट मेल चेनाई फिफ्थ स्टेट दर वॉज अ लेडी निमेश कल मंचुला she was on family way she already having two daughters third one is on the family way pastors when they they said you are going to get a girl will be a king the family is going to break family is crying like anything i was there in thousand light god told me to go there I went there. God told me to tell son, tell her she is going to get a male baby. Tell her, God, tell her I am telling to you. You please tell her. And then I said, God is telling to me. God sent me to to tell to you only. You are going to receive give birth male baby. रेस्पॉन्ड का शॉक एवरी वन इज कमिंग टेलिंग लाइक दिस वर स्मॉल बॉय हाउ कैन आई बिलीव माई गॉड टेल्स इफ इट इज नॉट रेकॉर्ड माई वर्ड एंड टेल टू पोलिस ऑल्सो इट विल हैव पैन आई सेट का केम आउट एंड देन डिलीवरी केम टाइम केम ड्यू टाइम शी गेव मेल बेबी दे honor me like anything children of god what god tells we have to tell in my area lot of business are there in sri nagar area i will tell to one little girl she was not having child she said come to church this 31st night december 31st night you are coming next year you will be our child pastor my god tells come she came she got so many witnesses are there that's why i'm saying if god tells tell otherwise shut your mouth don't make it as a business verse 7 says i prophesied as i was commanded hallelujah people of god children of god ezekiel says i prophesied as i was commanded what god commanded to me according to that i prophesied hallelujah prophecy should be like that god has to tell without god is telling if you say 2020 is like 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 people will put you down and believers will make you fun Children of God, we have to be very careful. We have to sit in the presence of God without before opening our mouth. We have to get a word from God. Without God's word, we should not open our mouth. We have to tighten our tongue until we get a word for God from God. We have to be. This Ezekiel prophesies as God commanded. without removing any word without adding any word what god tells we have to tell yes once i went to a meeting that security was there while i was preaching i was sitting in the front row god told me he is going to die after finishing meeting I went and shook his hand. I said, "This may be the last visit for us. I'm praying for you. You also pray." I came out. God has taken. Yes, we have to be 
very careful what God tells. We have to tell. Yes. Are we? We are we want to tell so many things. No. Everything should be guided by God. Everything should be guided by God. Then only it will be happened. What Bible says? When he commanded according to God's word, noise was there. True prophecy will make noise. Tears will be. Joy will be. Shouting will be. Praising will be there. When God tells to the particular people, if they get a word from God for those people, if you tell in the name of the Lord what God said to them, there will be noise. Yes. There will be noise. But now it is what happened. These people are changing like this anything. I said what God said, I told to them. But they are not with God correctly. That's why it is not happening. <laughs> Nowadays, these real people, <laughs> I'm joking, they are not real people. These people are making fun of God's word also. They are telling, what God told me, I said, huh? but what happened, I don't know. These people, they are not good. They are not with God. That's why it is not happening. No. If God tells to the people, it will happen. If you are telling from our own, it will not happen. Be careful. Proverbs. How are we receiving God's, God's word? How are we guiding by God? How are we getting word for each and everything from God? <coughs> yes. We have to be. There will be noise. And the Bible says, there was shaking also. Yes. In the dry bone was shaking like anything. If God's word comes, no, there will be a great shake. So, we have to be very careful. God's word will be make us as a great people. God's word will make us a great vessels. So, we have to be very careful in prophecy. If you want to be a prophet, be with God. If God wants us to be a prophet, He will use us as a prophet. Otherwise, for what God called us, let it be. Rest of the things we can see next week. Let us look unto God. Father God, I thank thee and worship thee for this wonderful morning, Master. I give all the glory and honor to you, Master. Father, you are the glorious Lord. You are the victorious God. You are the mighty God, Master. Not the Father, until we meet next week, Master, be with us, Master. Not the Father, see the world, Master. World is suffering like anything, Master. Corona is increasing, Master. Deaths are also increasing. Father God spreads like anything, Master. Father God, people are wandering here and there, Master. Father, daily things also, Lord. Provide their needs, Master. Father God, I commit everyone, Master. Those who are listening these words, bless them and be with the Master. Lord the Father, you be with us. You be with us. You be with us this whole week. I give all the glory and honor to you only. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Last three days, I have cold and little bit fever. Today I, I was unable to wake up, but my God helped me to preach. Please pray for us. Until we meet next week, God will, do, God will be with us. Hallelujah. Amen.